Well, Ken is really great to work with. Um, and he's, you know, he's just sort of a giant in terms of epidemiologic methods. I mean, he's written all the textbooks. I used his, I think, his first edition of Modern Epidemiology when I was in graduate school. He is a very thoughtful thinker and uh, he has a very critical approach to, um, to medical writing and to designing uh, epidemiological studies. When I was a doctoral student, even a master's student, I mean, Ken Rothman's book was the Bible of epidemiology. And if you knew the content of that book, you were going to make it as an epidemiologist. There's never any barrier to learning when you're talking with Ken because he's just so terrific at presenting ideas clearly. That comes through when he's teaching, it comes through when he's writing, it comes through just in casual conversations with him. And I think has been a large part of why he's been so influential in our field. This is old news, but if you really want to understand a topic, then you have to teach it. To try to get the teaching down the way you want it, I found I had to explain it to myself and I had to write it out in notes and the notes became something I would give to students and that evolved into a textbook. Dr. Rothman came to Aarhus University in 86 and gave a course in modern epidemiology. And uh, we developed this collaboration since then, 91, and we have had several ongoing studies um, between this department and his department at Boston University. And we have a cohort study on risk factors for infertility, and the cohort study has now been ongoing for close to 10 years now. We started a journal. When we started it, we had a long-range plan. And that plan was to uh, offer opportunities to epidemiologic researchers that didn't exist in other journals to uh, have more controversial stuff published. And he's always pushing me to be a better epidemiologist, to do the most valid analysis that I can, even if it's harder, even if it takes more complicated methods. It's, it's going to be in print forever, and he wants it to be the best work that it can possibly be. And I really admire him for that. That's where the real miracle occurs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So that's one of the things I think I most admire about him is his ability to bring methods down to sort of the, to my level. <laughs> 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 he deserves the honorary degree because he's an excellent collaborator, he's a supporter of Aarhus University, and he's a great epidemiological thinker. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about Ken? No, I think he's great. <laughs> <laughs>